Assalamu alaikum and hi there friends. Welcome to my healthy weekly meal prep video. All right guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share a few healthy meal prep um, ideas that I do during the week or throughout the week. I like to add some a chicken in there, some fish in there, um, sometimes a tossed salad, a few different things every week. So I'm gonna share this week's with you guys. If you guys like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So I'm gonna start off by our brown rice. I'm gonna get two cups of the brown rice and I'm gonna go ahead and just wash it, look through it, soak it for just a few minutes. And then on the other side, I'll get a cup of water for each cup of rice, add a little bit of salt, and I'm gonna go ahead and let that boil. Here's my water. And I'm gonna add a pinch of just cumin seeds and a little bit of garam masala. And like I said, salt. And once that comes to a boil, I'll put my rice in and I'll just put the lid on it and let that steam through and within six to eight minutes our rice is going to be done. So I like to always have brown or right white rice on the sides. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get some veggies. I have some zucchini, some bell pepper, I'm going to get some carrots and I'm going to get some onions and I'm going to go ahead and just slice all these, cut them and we are going to go ahead and saute this with a little bit of olive oil, black pepper and salt. This is also a good way to use up all the veggies in your refrigerator. You know when you're hungry and you're just looking for random things to eat, when you have a meal cooked or prepped in your refrigerator you don't have to just rumble through random things and just put anything in your mouth you know that hey I have a delicious meal waiting for me in the refrigerator all I have to do is pop it in the microwave and it's ready for me to eat so this definitely helps with weight loss and not overeating and just going through random things in your refrigerator and putting that into your mouth now this personally works wonders for me I usually meal prep every Sunday or every Wednesday during the week and then I'll have it throughout the whole week so after that's done, then I'll go ahead and do the bell pepper, some onions, carrots. So just cook these veggies with the lid. They'll steam through in about 10 minutes. They'll be all done and they smell so, so good, guys. I love these veggies and I love to steam them through so they get nice and soft. And like I said, within 10 minutes, they'll be all done. So we're gonna put this to the side and we're gonna go ahead and start on our chicken. So what we're gonna do is I have a lot of chicken breasts that I went ahead and washed, cut, put in a bowl. I have all the information down below in the description box for you guys. I've added some lemon juice to it. I've added about two tablespoons of vinegar. I added some hot sauce. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add some garlic. After the garlic, I'm gonna go ahead and spice this up so we get that nice zing in it when we're eating it. It's not bland and unflavorful. So I went ahead and put in some garam masala, some salt, some olive oil, some onion powder, lots of red chili powder, and I went ahead and just mixed this all up together like this. I'm also going to add just a pinch of turmeric so we get that nice taste like it's almost like Mediterranean chicken like and um, it's just really really good guys the turmeric is going to give it that really really nice flavorful taste and guys today I'm going to use my air fryer to go ahead and make this chicken you can also just grease a baking sheet or a baking pan or you can spray like a nonstick spray on there and stick that into your oven uh, 375 degrees for about 30 minutes and your chicken will all be done what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and pop it into my magic chef air fryer and I'm gonna go ahead and put this on I'm gonna put it on for about 350 for about 15 um, minutes and then I'm gonna check up on it and I will 
um, put it on for a few more minutes if I need to. Otherwise, it's all done just like this in just about 15 minutes and guys what I had to do is I had to split it into two because I ended up putting too much in there so I went ahead and did it in two parts so 15 minute minutes for each um, um, batch of chicken and I like I said I did it in two now after that's done I'm gonna go ahead and get my dishes the meal prep dishes and I'm gonna go ahead and put them all out on the table I have 12 of them here and I'm gonna go ahead and get my rice that has steamed through and that is perfectly done and I'm gonna go ahead and use a small portion to put on in each of the um, each of the dishes and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get our chicken and I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the middle you can put it on top of the rice you can put it on the sides you can do whatever you want you can even put them in three separate plastic containers airtight in your refrigerator and you can just eat them like you know sometimes in a wrap or sometimes on top of rice sometimes with a salad so you don't have to particularly have them in each um, meal prep container like this like I have but this is just the way that I like it so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add my veggies and if you guys are following me on Instagram or on snapchat I'm sure you guys must have seen that I really cut down on my food and on my eating I eat still I still eat delicious food but I just eat small portions of it so now what I'm doing is I'm using a very very small portion on each so these are not full at all it's a small portion of rice a little bit of chicken the protein and then the veggie on the side I also went ahead and sliced a lemon and put a piece on each of them to give it that extra zing when I'm eating it and that extra flavor on the chicken that's definitely optional now on the back guys as you guys can see I went ahead and boiled four eggs and I went ahead and got some chickpeas and added some olive oil and black pepper and salt to it and just added some of that on those ones back there and I thought it'd be a little something different so now that they're all done, we'll go ahead and get our lids once they cool down and I'm gonna go ahead and cover them and then they will be ready to go into the refrigerator. Now that's done and out of the way what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and cut a tossed salad what I like to do is just use everything that I might have in the refrigerator any greens and I'm gonna go ahead and get a nice large bowl and I'm gonna go ahead and make the salad I'm gonna wash it and I'm gonna go ahead and prepare it in the bowl and what I'm gonna do is um, have that ready laying in the refrigerator when I'm ready to eat so I can have this as a side so I, like I said earlier I don't have to be going through things in the refrigerator and like cutting a salad or you know it's more fulfilling this way when you eat a salad on the side of the meal so I'm gonna go ahead and add some baby spinach and into that I'm gonna go ahead and add some iceberg lettuce then I'm gonna go ahead and add some romaine after this and after the romaine I'm just gonna go ahead and cut some cucumber and some baby carrots I'm also going to add some um, of the banana wax peppers. I'm going to add a few chickpeas. You guys can also add like red onions, tomatoes, or anything else that you guys might like to it. And this makes a perfect side on the side of the meals. So friends, since I'm done with my salad and that's out of the way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and prepare my third meal prep idea and I'm going to share that with you guys. Now I am using some tilapia. I like to have some seafood on the side of it. So this is some tilapia. You can get it from Costco, Sam's or any store. These are individually packed um, fillets. So what I'm going to do is have some rice to go on the side with that and I went ahead and put these onto a plate. You can put them in a bowl and I washed them and then I patted them dry. I'm adding some lemon juice on top. I'm going to make it really, really tasty. Otherwise, guys, if it doesn't have no flavor, it's so hard to eat, especially for me, it's that way. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and add some garlic on top. 
Um, if you don't have lemon, you can use vinegar, and that's that tastes really good on fish as well. After that goes salt and pepper. I'm going to go ahead and add some fresh black pepper and some salt. And then after the salt, I am going to add some of this coriander and red chili pepper flakes on top. And then you guys can bake this. You guys can use an air fryer like I do, but I'm not going to use an air fryer because I'm going to go ahead and make it on my stovetop because a lot of people don't have air fryers. So I thought I'd show you guys how I make it on my stovetop. Now I've added a little bit of olive oil on top and I've heated up a tava that we make roti on or you can use like a skillet or a frying pan and just add the fish right on there make sure you leave the flame like medium not too high so they don't stick and then after a bit I just like to go ahead and cover it with the lid and it gets steamed through in just minutes it probably didn't even take six to eight minutes for my fish to, to get done and my rice is done I used the same recipe that I did for the brown rice just added one cup of water for each cup of rice added a little bit of salt and butter and then just let it steam through my fish is done I went ahead and got the rice don't you guys see how fluffy and good it looks I went ahead and got the rice and I put them into four of the um, of the meal prep containers and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and let that just cool off for a few minutes and then I'm gonna add the fish on top so one slice goes on the side of rice you can put it on top of rice or you can um, put it to the side. I'm leaving a little room on the other end because I'm gonna add some salad. You guys don't have to add salad if you guys don't want to. You guys could add anything. You guys can add pasta, you guys can add um, veggies, you guys can add mixed vegetables, like anything that you guys prefer to do. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of salad on each of them. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just put them in the refrigerator after they're all cooled off. Sometimes I also like to um, boil some peas and some carrots and just sometimes I'll mush the peas up, add a little salt and pepper and that'll go on the side and then sometimes I'll just mash up the carrots and it'll be like a carrot mash on the side and that tastes really good too friends. I really hope that you guys enjoy my video. I hope that you guys um, enjoy me um, making these meal prep videos. And if you guys do, don't forget to let me know in the comments down below and give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll be sharing videos like this, inshallah, once or twice a week, definitely. Last but not least, friends, I'm gonna go ahead and share my Make Ahead smoothie bags with you guys here. This is what I like to do once a week as well. Um, I like to get any kind of greens that I have in the refrigerator and carrots, fruit, cucumber, salad, celery, kale. I'm out of kale today, but I also like to have that as well because it's really, really good for your skin, your body, everything else. So I like to make um, the packages or the little smoothie bags ahead of time so I have them ready just like my meal preps in my fridge. And if I make extra like I'm making today, like five, six bags, I'll stick them in my freezer. So all I have to do is when I'm hungry and you want something to eat and, you know, you don't have time for that your meal and you just want to grab and make something on the go when you're heading out the best thing to do is to make a smoothie so when you have these bags pre-made like this all you do is take them out throw them in your ninja or in your blender blend it up and just put it into your to-go uh, to cup and you can just go on to doing what you have to do so this really really helps me out and I've really made this a habit lately I just get any kind of greens the more greens the better any kind of veggies, anything that you have in the in your refrigerator, you can go ahead and wash them, cut them, and put them in individual Ziploc bags like I'm doing here. And it's really, really easy, like I said, especially if you have like a banana or strawberries or something to go in there. I have some peaches because I'm out of bananas and strawberries because, of course, who doesn't like those in their smoothies? So they go quick in my house. So they're all done ready to go into the fridge and the freezer and then whenever I feel like having a smoothie or just something sweet and I don't have time to eat or something I'll just make it and just go on with doing what I have to do and this really really saves a lot of time and I would highly recommend you guys to do this so guys I hope that you guys did enjoy 
this video, please let me know down below if you guys want me to share more and I will definitely share lots more. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed the things that I made in here, the seafood, the chicken, um, the salad. You guys should definitely give this a try if you guys want to start eating more healthier and if you guys want to, you know, have something made healthy, ready for you to eat when you're hungry so you don't have to go and start just, you know, um, looking through the fridge and just eating leftovers and all that kind of stuff that's, you know, eventually gonna um, make you gain weight so I've just really really got into the habit of doing this and so many of you guys wanted me to share so I thought I'd share this please give me a thumbs up and let me know down below if you guys want me to share what I eat in a day and I'll love to do that and so many of you guys have already requested that so I hope you guys enjoy take care until my next video see you guys soon Allah is.